So we're here with Brittany. Brittany, how old are you? Uh, 30. You're 30? Mm -hmm. You look way younger than 30. Thank you. You actually look like you're 22 or something like that. Thanks. Um, so are you homeless? Mm -hmm. Are you originally from Arizona? Mm, born in Cali, but yeah, from Arizona. I've been out here like four years now. And how did you end up homeless? Um, well, I was in a abusive relationship and I had to get away, so I ended up homeless, you know. And then I got into a relationship and then we just ended up being on the streets and it, it yeah, it's a long story. And how long have you been homeless? Um, I say about seven, eight months now. Seven, eight months? Mm -hmm. How was your life before you were homeless? Did you have a job or anything? No, like what, before I was homeless, I used to uh, dance and I used to waitress. That part was cool, but then like going back to abusive relationship and all that, that was like the stressful part. So you were going like from one abusive relationship to another? This was the first abusive relationship I've ever been in. Like real abusive, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's tough though, you know, it's hard. And um, what do you do out here to survive? Um, I do dates. You do dates? Mm hmm And how many of those do you do a day? Um, like on a slow day, like today I've done nothing. Sometimes I can do 10 a day, sometimes it'll be zero a day, you know, just depends and what are the usual rates like when you do uh, I try, try to charge at least a hundred but over here they try to be cheap so at least 50 60 bucks and what type of men uh, come through and pick you up uh, all type of men crazy men and uh, weird man you know you get them all <laughs> you get them all you get them all any any blues yeah yeah how did you get started on the blues well I got started on the blues because remember I told you about that abusive relationship so I used to come home and just like pop pills pop pills snort them do coke all type of shit just to keep my mind clear because I would never know what would come next like if he would try to hit me or if he would try to rape me or if he would try to force me to do something you know so that's how I became in the blues and stuff like that. It got bad. He also introduced me to the blues too, so. I was introduced to them by uh, the crazy person we're talking about. <laughs> crazy relationship, yeah, I was in. By your boyfriend? Ex, yeah. Your ex-boyfriend? Yeah. And where is that ex-boyfriend at now? Uh, He's around here. He said he was moving, so we'll see. Is he homeless as well? No. No? No. planning to get clean anytime soon? Mm, uh, I don't think so. I don't think I'm ready. You're I plan ready. on cutting down, but getting clean wise, I wouldn't say I'm ready yet. I've tried it already and I, I don't want to go, go, do, go do it unless I'm ready. So. Do you have any kids? No kids. No kids? That's good. Mm -hmm. When do you think you're, you'll be re ready to stop? Um, I guess when me and my new um, boyfriend's ready for me to stop. <laughs> He's like trying to cut me down and it's just very difficult. So you're in a new relationship now? A better relationship. Happy, but I'm homeless, but hell, I'm still happy, you know? What about uh, the new guy? Is he on the blues as well? Yeah. Yeah? Is he so trying to cut down? He's trying to cut down. He said he can cut down, he can go through the pain, he can go through it, but he doesn't want to do it without me, you know what I mean? He's like, I know you can't go through the pain, I know you can't cut down, you know. I want to start by cutting you down, and you know, so it gets frustrating, but yeah. Yeah. Is it you know? dangerous out here in the streets at night? Mm, yeah. And it too, it depends on what area you're in. Like, this area is not that bad, but if you go to like, Indian School 27th, uh, Van Buren, 51st, and McDowell, like, those areas are very dangerous. Do you ever work the track down there on 27th down? Um, no, I tend to not try to do 27th. It's, a, it's a, too dangerous. 
it's too dangerous, like I said, so. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah, there. there's a lot. That's one place you don't want to go in. And where do you usually sleep at night? Um, we have different spots where we go to and we sleep. But this is like the main general area here on 43rd and McDowell? Yeah, this is like our main area, yeah. But we do have different spots where we go and sleep, meet, whatever, so. So if one of my subscribers were, was trying to get a hold of you somehow to give you a donation, um, how would they be able to reach you? Um, or do you I even did. want to give out that information? I do, but I, I, I don't have a P.O. box, so I guess maybe through you. Okay. That would be good. And you're always hanging out in this spot. Right? I'm always in this area. Yeah. Okay. Right. Do you have any family out here? No, just me. It's just you? Nah, just no rocking it with no me. Dad, like no, that? nothing. Just me. It's rough. Yeah, I know. Siblings? <laughs> just me, baby. You're an only child. Mm hmm. Okay. Only child. How often do you get tested for STDs? Um, a year ago I got tested for everything. I had like a little, um, a little problem, but other than that, I'm good. Yeah. And you got, you got rid of that problem? Yeah, it, it, I've it. got rid of it. I fixed it, you know. Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, I see myself in five years. I'm marrying this guy that I'm with now. Um, us off of the blues. Uh, a nice house, maybe one kid. You know, he has a job, I have a job, you know. And then we can go back and be like, damn, I remember this spot, that spot, this spot, you know. We argue a lot though, but. I don't know. Every day he gets me something. <laughs> it's crazy. He gets me something every day. Like, <laughs> but. Do you see yourself having any kids in the future? Yeah, I mean, I want one kid with him. So, at least one boy. One boy? Yeah. Please. Okay, do you? Do you have any anything that you want anybody out there to know, like my subscribers or anybody that's gonna watch this video? Um, pray for me and my man. <laughs> Hopefully, we can do better. Um, like I said, I'm happy now. The only thing is, is I'm on the streets now. Yeah. Other than that, I'm pretty happy. Okay. Well, thank you for the interview. I really appreciate it and if I see you like in a couple of months can I get an update with you sure anytime you see me you can always get an update with me are you okay with me using this for my YouTube channel yes okay thank you I really appreciate I it <laughs> that was fun next time like